Hey everyone. Um, today we are heading into Mercury retrograde. So today is July 24th and on July 25th, Mercury retrograde is beginning. So what I decided to do is offer a special on my course, Planetary Magic with Pendulums, because this is an ideal time to be working with planetary energies. Because, you know, as many of you are aware, the planet Mercury, which I've got behind me there, um, it really affects communication, um, travel, and Mercury retrograde is like, a, it can be a very challenging time for like technology issues, communicating clearly with people, traveling, but it's also like a great time to reflect about the past and to revisit things from the past. So this concept of using the energy of a planet to help you do your pendulum healing is a pretty powerful one because like if you're aware of Mercury retrograde, you know that this does have an effect on reality. So you might as well harness the energy of the planet to serve your needs rather than letting it just, you know, take you around willy nilly. So the process of planetary magic with pendulums, it's, it's based off of concepts from magic and pendulum healing. And what I provide in the course is for each planet, I have a chart that I've created. And this chart, this is for Mercury here. And like, I'm not going to explain the whole process, but just kind of sort of go over it simply, like the simplest way to do it. So basically what you do is you pick out the planet whose influence you want to work with. So in this case, we're working with Mercury since it's Mercury retrograde coming up tomorrow and then you want to have a statement of intention or something that you want to have happen so for me during this mercury retrograde i really want to have clear communication with people so what i do is i write down my intention clear communication on a piece of paper and i already wrote that down earlier then I use this handy little chart that I created so I can show it on the screen here. Let's see. There we go. And I use this chart to translate the letters of my intention into numbers. So the letter C is number three, for example, and L is number three and E is number five, etc. So take my intention, I translate it, I write it down, and then I translate it into numbers, and I've already done that here. And then the way I like to do it is I'll go through and I'll just knock off the numbers that are duplicated. So I see there's there are two threes, so I'll knock one off. So I'll knock off all the threes except for the first one. And I'm just, I'm just going through and just crossing them off right now on the paper. Okay, five, there's a five, so there, but there are multiple fives, so I'll cross off all the extra fives that are there, one, there are a couple extra ones, cross those off, um, there's only, there are two sixes, so I'll cross off the second six, there's only one four, and then there's two nines, and then there's a two. So when I translated clear communication into numbers, it was like a long number, so I wanted to shorten it, create a sigil out of it, so I made it three, five, one, six, four, nine, two. So I translated all those numbers into that number. And I, I explain how to do this in the course. Okay, then what I do is I take these numbers and I draw a sigil using this chart. So it's pretty easy to do here. You just, um, you find the first number and you just mark it. So the first number in my thing is a three. So I'm gonna mark it with a little circle. So I found three on the chart and I marked it. Then it's just like playing that game, connect the dots. So I go from three to five. So I'm gonna draw a line from three up to five. Then from five over to one. And then from six, or from one to six. So I've gotta find six on the chart. Okay, there it is. 
So from one to six. And just thanks for your patience while I'm doing this here. Kind of coloring it in a little bit. Uh, one to six, six to four. You gotta locate four on the chart. Okay, that's right there, so up to four. And then over to nine. Then over to two. Then at two, I'll draw a square, indicate it's finished. Okay, so when I'm done, I've drawn a, sig a sigil or a sigil. And um, this is for my intention of having clear communication. So like, what's the next part of this? Well, next part of this is that you're gonna take the pendulum and you're gonna energize the sigil. So the way I do it is you can either determine, you can do it on a Wednesday, because Wednesday is the day of Mercury, and or you can do it at the hour of Mercury. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend that today is Wednesday, it's actually Tuesday, but I'm gonna pretend it's Wednesday. And then I'm gonna take my pendulum and I'm gonna energize the sigil. And so, you, I give instructions on how to do this, but just to make it simple, I could just say my original command, like have clear communication during Mercury retrograde. Um, I can also make up other commands, like neutralize any negative effects of Mercury retrograde on my health and well-being. You know, help uh, help Mercury retrograde to become a really productive and beneficial period for my life, this Mercury retrograde. Help me to have clear communication, neutralize any blocks to communicating clearly, traveling with ease, joy, and grace. Um, you know, help me to revisit the past in beneficial ways. You can just come up with a whole bunch of commands. This is something better, highest good of all concerned, I'm in. Just come up with a whole bunch of commands about Mercury retrograde. Do it on the day and preferably on the hour of mercury and then you know just put this chart like on your altar or wherever and just assume that it's going to work so that's just like a really brief introduction to planetary magic with pendulums it's pretty simple to do and it's really fun because you have all these wizard charts that are you know <laughs> You look, they're really cool. Like I made all these wizard charts, you know, based on planetary numbers. And there's like a whole little process to this. And it's really fun determining the planetary hours. And it also can help to have beneficial effects on your life. Because not only do you get the power from the pendulum, but you also get the power from the planet. So it brings them all together there. And it's really cool. And you can add in other things too, like other magical correspondences for the, you know, the planet that you're working with. Well, I hope this video is useful. And um, I have that course on sale right now, 15% off. So if you're interested in it, please let me know. All right. Bye.